Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jim Coppinger with Zantech Consultants, and this is our presentation on BricsCAD and why it's a better DWG system for you guys. And I hope by the end of uh, today's presentation, you'll agree with that. So um, one thing I do want to point out before we get going here, I encourage you guys to ask questions as we go throughout the, uh, the presentation here today. But because I do have a lot of stuff I want to get to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold off on answering those questions till I get to the end. Uh, and then I'll uh, answer them. There's a, uh, a little moment at the end there that we're going to have for a little Q&A. So um, please just type your questions as they come up as we go, and I'll answer them when we get to the end. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the presentation. So <clears throat> for those of you who haven't worked with us before, we are Zentech Consultants, and we work very heavily in the uh, architecture engineering and in the manufacturing space. Uh, we work with our clients for purchasing, implementing, customizing, configuring, almost all of their software. We are, uh, you know, BricsCAD partners and we are Microsoft and Bluebeam and just about any software that you guys are using for day-to-day -day workflow communications collaboration. We're here to help you guys with it. And we hope that you'll take the time to hit our website and see all the other things that we can offer for you. Um, so with that said, let's get into today's presentation. We're going to start off <clears throat> by talking about what is BricsCAD. Um, obviously, you guys are here. You at least have a general idea of what BricsCAD is. But, you know, at the end of the day, the important thing to understand about BricsCAD is that it is what we're saying here today, a better DWG system, right? A better way to CAD. Um, you know, it's it's a CAD system, right? But the biggest thing about BricsCAD is that it uses native DWG files. What that means is that it's not, you don't have to do any kind of a conversion. You don't have to worry about your old files. Are they compatible? Do I have to go through a process and develop time to use all of these? They work in the exact same DWG files with all of the same tools that you guys have developed and worked with with your AutoCAD and Autodesk products over the years, right? So BricsCAD lets you just Literally, after you install it, just keep on working with the exact same files that you've always worked with. And in 99.9% .9 of the cases, the exact same set of tools, commands, and features, which is amazing. Okay. Uh, the other thing that's really, really powerful about BricsCAD is that it's one single system that allows you to integrate 2D drafting, 3D drafting, full BIM modeling, right? mechanical uh, parts and configuration all put together, right? Development and you know bills and materials, things like that, as well as doing all of your standard 2D construction documentation, everything, and it all uses the same file, right? Unlike its its big competitor there over at Autodesk, where to do that kind of thing, you'd be working with four or five different packages that you'd have to purchase, all of which use different file types, right? And you have all kinds of integration and configuration and transfer issues. You can do all of this, every single thing that you need to do in your native DWG files, right? So you can you handle all of these different tools and features that you see up here, right? They can all be integrated and work together on one single file. So you can have architects and engineers and, and you know, uh, building product manufacturing. You can have your, your development group and manufacturing group putting all of their stuff together. The other thing that's amazing about BricsCAD is that because it's this one integrated system, the tools are regularly improved and updated. Um, and, and, and I don't want to sound negative, um, but, you know, being a, a, a guy who has over 30 years of background working in that Autodesk space, one of the things that has happened over the years is that those 2D drafting tools, those day-to-day -day operational tools, they haven't been updated in that system in any meaningful way in over a decade. Right? They just get, you know, a quick veneer and some color changes and make it look like all the other products for functionality. Right? And, 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 you know, those other CAD design systems, they're focused on their big flagship products, right? the big architectural, the big BIM products, the big civil products, et cetera. They're focused on all of those and they tend to ignore what is, you know, the 90 percent of what we do. Right. We're still developing those 2D construction documents or build and design documents in a manufacturing space that we have to work with, right? And, and that's where I think BricsCAD really, really shines, okay? So the next question then is, you know, why should I change? Right? And like I said, hey, the truth of the matter is for the last 30 years here, um, 
you know, in, in our industries, there's been one massive player, a giant monopoly by Autodesk, and they've held all of the cards. And it's what everybody works in, right? And we've all been afraid to move away from that for the simple fact that we've invested so much time and money. So right off the bat, like I said earlier, when you're working in that native DWG format, you don't lose anything. So you can make that move without the fear of ever losing anything. Now, the other big, big reason, right, is like I say up here on the screen, it's choice and simplification, right? Um, you know, you, you get to keep all the tools, all the processes, all the commands, all of that learning and effort that you've put in for decades in developing your current system. And you can switch over to BricsCAD. And one of the huge benefits here is that BricsCAD offers both perpetual licensing and annual subscriptions, okay? Unlike their competitor who offers at this point, you're locked into those annual subscriptions, whether you want them or not. You're paying every year, no matter what, right? With BricsCAD, you get the choice, right? If you wanna buy a BricsCAD license, it's yours, you own it, you keep it forever. If you wanna use that version, you know, the, the night version 19, which is the current one, if you wanna use that for the next 10 years, you can, doesn't cost you any more money. You upgrade when you feel it's time to upgrade and there are worthwhile improvements that are gonna improve your business. Right? And that's great and it's a really wonderful way to work. Uh, they also do offer the annual subscription process. For some people, it is better to have a recurring annual subscription, you get the latest and greatest upgrades and you can budget for that. Right? But the thing is, is that, you know, we're not telling you you have to do it. You get to decide which works best for your company. Right? Along with that, BricsCAD tools, all of the different products and, and features that come with BricsCAD, generally speaking, they are less than half of the cost of their equivalent over at Autodesk. I mean, that's a big savings, right? You get all the functionality, all the tools, all the benefits at half the price. That's a definite plus from a business standpoint. I, and, and I really do mean all the tools, everything, all your standard tools, LISP, Lisp utilities, configurations, setups, et cetera, they all still work in exactly the same way in BricsCAD as they do in your current system, okay? I, and again, no licensing issues. Everything that you do, regardless of the work, whether it's architectural focused, engineering focused, manufacturing focused, it can all happen within the same drawing files. And that means that you can transfer those files back and forth freely with other companies who also use, whether it's you know BricsCAD themselves or if they have one of the other you know uh, Autodesk-based products, it's really really nice. Okay, so those are the benefits. That's why, right? But of course, like anything else, you actually at least want to get a little bit of a feel for it. You want to look at it and see what it is. So we're going to do a uh, a demo. Right? I'm just going to show you nothing too too dramatic here. Just the basic tools and features and what BricsCAD looks like. Um, and, you know, please keep in mind that we are Zentech Consultants and we are your US, CAD, uh, US BricsCAD partner. We're here to help you guys with all of your BricsCAD questions, needs, training, support, sales, everything. Just hit our website. All right. So with that said, I'm going to jump over to BricsCAD here for our presentation. Now, what I want to show you guys, and for a lot of you guys, this drawing here, this floor sample, this may look familiar. It's because it is one of the AutoCAD standard out-of-the-box demonstration files. It's a standard DWG that we all work in. And I didn't do anything. All I did was open it. I just went to file, open, and you notice that it's opening just drawing files, just like any Autodesk product would, okay? So we can work with all of these different uh, files right here inside of, of um, BricsCAD. And you'll see up here, we've got you know toolbars. You'll even see that the ribbon panel, right, works and looks and is even laid out in almost the exact same way that the AutoCAD panels are. Right? We've got all of the standard uh, AutoCAD, you know, ortho, snap, grid commands that we can turn on and off down here in the bottom. I can toggle snap on and off. I can right click, go to the settings right, for all of my different uh, setups and drawing units. Right? If I want to turn on my, my we call it, BricsCAD calls it e-snap instead of object snap. Uh, but you see I got the endpoint, midpoint, center point. All of my basic drafting tools and features are here. I've got all of the same you know, layer drop downs that I have inside of AutoCAD. I can launch the full-blown layer dialog box if I need to. I've got all of my, my basic insert and annotation tools, okay? Um, I've got all of my parametric design and controls, view tools, 3D views, managing, right? All of my standard AutoCAD-based tools, even to the point that basic uh, keyboard commands, things like move and copy, right? A lot of us will you know, type the letter M for move. Right? You see that that works here as well. I can go and I can move a line from here to here. Right? I can copy a line right? exactly the same way I would in AutoCAD from here to here to here. Okay? 
not a difference, right? Pretty much everything works exactly the same. So that, you know, that, that learning curve completely disappears. Literally the day you install BricsCAD, your people can be up and running in that 2D space with no questions at all, right? Now, one of the other things um, that's really important here, right? Or our basic annotation dimension setup tools and structures. And those are all the same. So you see, for example, I can go to the annotate tab and you see, I can go in, I can throw in, you know, M text, right? Wherever I need. So if I wanna, you know, drop in M text, you know, here on my screen, I can just go in and, you know, type my note here, just like I would do in AutoCAD. You see, I can change its, you know, different fonts. I can change different uh, shape files. I can adjust its size. I've got all the tools for bold, italics, text, you know, I can go in, I can put in symbols, you know, for things like degrees, minus, you know, all the basic tool controls, everything I need. All right, same thing with dimensions, right? I can go in and I can just set my current drafting style. And one of the things that I do like, like I said, about uh, working with BricsCAD and how I feel it's a better DWG system from a drafting standpoint, down here on the status bar, it's not just, just standardized stuff, but you have the ability to turn on things. Uh, for example, you see down here on the bottom, I can easily change any and all of my, my options in terms of annotation. What text style am I using, right? What's my current dimension style that I wanna work with? I can even turn on uh, summaries down here, right? In terms of turning on, you know, the current scales, what current layers, colors, et cetera. I, I have total control over that status bar, which is one of those upgrades, like I said, that they've added into BricsCAD that takes it far beyond what you're used to in that, that AutoCAD world. So yeah, I can go in from here and I can just, you know, add basic dimensions. Right. And you see, I even have these little pop-ups up here that once I put in dimensions, I can choose all my different options. All right. I can go up here for different aligned dimensions. All right. So if I wanted to, you know, go in and dimension from, you know, the end point of there to the end point of there, throw that in. All right. Just go ahead and I can repeat the last command again. All right. With no problem from here to here, throw in whatever dimensions I need in exactly the same way I would do it in AutoCAD. I've got all of this, the, this, the standard structures, tables, uh, all of the annotation tools that you guys are used to. Okay, so they're all there and available. Now, what I really, really like, one of the best tools in BricsCAD, uh, particularly from dealing with day-to-day uh, -day operational 2D structures, is what, what we call the quad tool. Right? And really what it comes down to, and you, you guys may have even noticed it as I was working, when I come over and I just hung uh, a hover over an object, any object, right? So I go over here and hover over a line or a block. If I hover over a line, see I get this little pop-up, now, the first thing that's great about this is I can just come right over here and you see that I can change the color, right? Oops, sorry, I went too far. I, went, I clicked uh, before I went to. I can change the layer that it's on right here in place. I, I can even get basic information about an object like its length, its radius, right? The name of the block. What's the name of this block, right? That's chair seven, right? What's the length of that wall? It's two foot, 10 inches just by hovering, All right? So that's the start of it. But it goes a step beyond in that if I actually move in here and I hover over this first button, you see the quad actually brings up a series of heads up editing features. So I can go into the, I've got the basic match properties, right? My last re recently used commands, but I can go down to edit and you see I've got match properties. Okay, I can edit a block, right? I can reference edit for X refs, right? I can go into the straight, I can launch the block editor there. I can go into modify and you see in here, I've got you know basic erase, move, copy, mirror, copy to clipboard, cut, paste, explode, all my basic commands, everything that I need they're all built in and they're right here, even to the point of adding in any 2D constraints, right? In this case, the block has no real uh, fixed constraint, but I can add some. I, I can easily go right to a move command right here. The other thing that we have inside of BricsCAD, which is really, really amazing. I really like this a lot. Um, you know, I'm gonna do it over here on this door just to kind of show you what I'm talking about, right? Um, and it's the idea of the manipulation tool. And what it does is it is it helps your end users rather than having to, go in and find the move command, the mirror command, the copy command, the rotate command, all these different commands. The manipulator, which is this little uh, button that you see right here for manipulate, right, allows you to move, rotate, scale, copy all of your entities, right, all of those basic editing commands using one tool, okay? So you see when I click on it, 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 it took the object or objects that I selected, but here I have the ability to do a number of different things, right? You see right here, I can just go right in, I can start rotating, I don't have to go to another command and I can just hit escape and come back. You see, I can move this along certain axes, right? So if I wanna go and I wanna move the door and you see it gives me a measure grid so I can tell how far I'm going in inches or feet. I can set that up based on my options so I can measure how far I'm going, okay? I can move it in either direction along that linear axis to keep things aligned without any problems, right? I even have the ability here, 
right, to go in. You see, I can free float move this to wherever I want, okay? I can go in, move it to wherever. I, I also have the ability when I get here to the end, you see I can actually both mirror, see it kind of gives me that little double icon. I can mirror this and move it all in one. I can do a move and mirror in one shot. So you see it lets me mirror the door and move it down. So if I was taking that and saying, hey, we're gonna move the door to the other end of the wall, so I can just move that up to where I need it and see it, move that up there, okay? And there you go, and then I can just do the same with, with those. Right? So it's a really, really useful tool, and it's that idea of the quad, this heads-up working display where regardless of what it is, you don't have to spend time. Everything that you need, including, you can see that the first thing that will always come up, see my last command was to manipulate. So if I were to go now and do a match properties, right, and I wanted to match properties, see how I changed it to that layer. Now when I go to a different object and I hover, the first thing that comes up is the match properties command. So whatever your last tool is, it comes up for you. So it's a great way to be able to work. It's got some really, really nice built-in functionality that can make your life a lot easier, okay? Now, the other thing that's really cool about it is, like I said, everything is integrated and, and tied into this one single uh, program, right? Now, again, yes, there are different modules and upgrades like everything else, right? There's always costs involved, but everything can work in here because you see when you go in, you can see up here that I have workspaces. And I have different workspaces for 2D drafting. Um, I have a, a 3D modeling structure, right? So if I'm going in, I'm doing 3D modeling, right? And then you do, you know, parametric type design or your basic 3D models and, and extrude and scaling offset parametric, different components and standard parts. I have those, right? And I can also come down here and I can switch those um, from the bottom here. So I'm on the modeling. I, I can go to the mechanical setup, right? And essentially now I can get in and I've got a whole array of tools for building assemblies, right? Different views, bills of materials, 3D parametric design. I even have a built-in sheet metal structure. For those of you who are in the HVAC or, um, you know, building product manufacturing space, right? All built in here, all working within my 2D structure. And I even have a fully developed, fully structured BIM tool set, right? You see that I have in here an entire set of tools, right? Where I can bring in, you know, different part families, shapes, three-dimensional BIM modeling structures, everything that I need, all of my BIM tools are here for work with, you know, quick draws, parametric solids, right? And, you know, predefined parts, families, and views, and everything that you would expect in a product like Revit, okay? It's got all of those same features, everything built in, right? And it goes a step beyond, because one of the, the great things it's, and is, is that built into BricsCAD is the idea of a non-stop workflow. In other words, no matter what it is you're doing, it gives you the ability to push it between 2D and 3D into full-blown development using the same BricsCAD package. So one of the other things I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna open up what's called BricsCAD Shape. And this is a free program. Um, and actually, I believe that you guys can actually download it uh, from our website. Um, it's completely free. You don't have to have BricsCAD to use BricsCAD Shape. BricsCAD Shape is, is very similar in effect if you guys have ever used Google SketchUp. Uh, it works kind of you know, the same way. I can go in, right? But it's, it's really designed to work, right, in a really simplified manner. So you can see here, for example, I, I'm zooming in on this basement. So say I wanted to go in, I want to start extruding these walls up, right? Not a problem. See, I can go in, I can select spaces, so I can just hit a boundary, right? And then I can easily just go in and say, look, I'm going to extrude those walls up. And you see how very quick and easy it is inside of Shape? For me to be able to go and say, look, I've got, you know, eight foot high wall. So I just put eight foot up. Cool. All right. I'm going to zoom into this little space over here. This, right. I'm going to extrude that up as well. That's also going to be, you know, eight feet. Okay. And I'll go and now I can see, I can see I got a, a closed space here, the perimeter. Right. So I can just take that and same thing. I can, and again, you notice I also have, by the way, when I have these done, right, I also get the, the quad tool or I can go up here to the ribbon bar. Right? And again, let's bring that up to eight feet. Okay, and there you go. You can see that just like that, in just a few seconds, I've taken my 2D plan and it was just a drawing file. Notice this is my, see up here on the top, it says Meta Run example file. It's a DWG. It was just a two-dimensional DWG file. I didn't do anything to it. I just opened it up in shape, right? And with a few clicks, I can easily develop my 3D model, right? And then what's really cool about this is that, you know, I can go in right, and I can save this as a DWG, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna uh, save that, right? And then what I can do is I can go back, right? And I can go into uh, 
BricsCAD, right? And that's kind of the idea that you can go in and do any kind of 3D modeling. And again, inside of Shape, you know, I'm just showing like a 2D floor plan, but it's got all the, the, the tools that you would need for any kind of basic part structure, 3D, inventor page, kind of freeform modeling, getting general ideas, general shapes, general layout, very, very quickly done. Then you can take that DWG file, right? And you can go ahead and you can open it up. Let's see if I can actually, here it is. That's the uh, Meta Run example drawing. Uh, sorry, yeah, it's read only because I still have it open in Vendor. But you can see that it, it brought it right over for me. And again, right inside of the full-blown version of BricsCAD. But because it's in BricsCAD, it noticed that it's got these 3D models in it. And you'll notice that what it automatically did was push me into the BIM environment. And now I can just come in here and I can just BIMify this. With a single click, just like that, right? I can have it build all of my standard parts, elevations, floor plans, all the things that I need, okay? And you see that I actually now have the ability, right? So you see here, for example, I can go into the views, right? And if I wanted to go in, say I can go into my BIM components here, right? Say I can start adding in, I can convert things to walls, right? Columns, windows, doors, all the basic BIM structures, right? I can even go in, right? And I can switch to generate a section. So if I want to see the, you know, the kind of the front view of, of that building, which isn't really going to have much, right? But I can also go in and I can move these, right? Using the basic move command. All right, so if I go down here to the uh, modify, right, and say I want to, you know, move this in, right, I'm going to move that in, see I can move that into a set, turn off my O snap here right about there, okay, right, and then I can go in and I can choose that option, right, and then I can go ahead into that, right, and very quickly go in and say, hey, show me that view, generate that section, okay, right, and then I can go in and I can view those sections, right, so I can go in and I can view all of my different, you know, uh, 2D BIM rooms, 3D BIM rooms, all of my different layouts. See, everything that I need will be all structured and laid out for me and, and fully designed uh, parametric, uh, parametric, excuse me, BIM structures. Right? And again, all of it's available just by going in right, and choosing what it is you want to do right, in terms of your, your BIM structure and views, et cetera. Okay? So whatever it is you're looking to do, right, you can easily go in and open those, right? Generate your sections, view your sections, open the models, Right, whatever it is you're looking to do. So you see there's the model, okay? See, it, it generated for me that cut view. I can see, you can see where I'm cutting through the walls, the plain faces of the wall, and it's a very simple example, but we do have limited time here today. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you guys. It's a very, very simple way to be able to push all the way through and handle all of that, right? And it's just about going from, you know, your, uh, Bricks CAD sketch all the way up through working with the, uh, the BIM structure here. And what's great about this in terms of the BIM structure, one of the other things that we can do here, right, is that we can actually go in and we can import directly into BricsCAD. We can bring in standard IFC files, which are BIM translation files. Every product, whether it's Revit or any other, you know, BIM product out on the market, any 3D BIM modeling software, the International File Exchange is the IFC file. So we can pull those from other items and bring them in. We even have the ability you can load, if you guys have spent time on the Revit side and you've put in uh, RFA, you know, Revit Family Associations for doors and windows and products, we can bring those in and use those right here inside of BricsCAD. So all of that data, fully translatable from one program to another, even all the way through the extensive BIM setups. And then at any point, we can just go back to our standard drafting tools and our standard views, right, whatever we're looking to do. Okay, so, um, I think that'll do for right now on the on the demo. I'm just gonna jump back to uh, my slide here. I just want to talk real quick about the Brim, the uh, the BricsCAD product family, what they consist of. All right, so the ones that we normally deal with, um, BricsCAD Classic, right, which is the lowest price of them all. It's only a few hundred dollars. It's kind of the the AutoCAD LT replacement. If you guys are using AutoCAD LT, BricsCAD Classic is where you're gonna to want to go. Uh, BricsCAD Pro, again, very very cheap, about half the price of of AutoCAD. But it is, you know, it's got all AutoCAD functionality, uh, but with a lot, it, it's a better AutoCAD. It has, a, you know, a much nicer interface and much more intelligent tools to make your life move a lot faster and a lot easier. Uh, BrisCAD Platinum, right, which is, again, it includes, you know, it, these are all kind of nests, you know, classic, all of the classic tools are in Pro, all of the Pro tools are in Platinum, right? But that also adds all of your fully developed uh, three-dimensional modeling you know, uh, Coons patches, graphical 3D modeling comparison, constraint engines, okay? Uh, BricsCAD BIM, which again has everything from platinum up, but it also now takes you into that whole ability 
to handle fully defined BIM structures, right? It's got HVAC and structural modeling tools, walls, doors, ceilings, planes, everything you need, okay? Right? And then we also have Bricks CAD Mechanical, which is kind of, you know, Bricks CAD BIM essentially replaces and does everything Revit does. Bricks CAD Mechanical will do pretty much everything that Autodesk Inventor does, okay? So we can do all of these controls, all of this, right? They all integrate, all work with the same drawing file, and then you can just pick up the Bricks CAD Ultimate. Right, which includes all of these tools in one package. And let, let's just kind of put that into perspective. Right, if you were to go in and say, okay, you know what, I need uh, AutoCAD, okay, and I'm going to need uh, Revit, and I'm going to need Inventor. If you go out and try and buy all of these individually on the Autodesk side, those packages are going to cost you about ten to twelve thousand dollars, depending on which variant you're working with and which add-ons you need. Right, bases, you know, the BricsCAD Ultimate is under three grand. Yeah, the, the price, you get all the functionality for, you know, a third of the price. You can't beat that. Okay. And we're here to help you guys with that and, and to help you, you know, get it, put it in place, train you on it, help you configure it and so on. All right. All right. So let's take a few minutes and, and do a little bit of the, uh, the question and answers here. Um, all right. So I got a question from Todd. He Todd wants to know, what about AutoCAD DWT templates? Can they be used? Uh, yes, Todd, the, the BricsCAD uses everything the same as AutoCAD. So your existing uh, DWT templates, all right, you can actually use. You see, if I go up here and I go and I go to the uh, the, the new wizard, I want to open from a wizard, I can start from a template, and you'll see that it's using standard DWT template files. So all the template files that you've already developed, you can hold on to and use. Not a problem. BrickCAD will, will use those. You don't lose anything. Um, what else do we got here? So uh, Malika wants to know, does BricsCAD use the same printing tools? as AutoCAD. It does. It does. Absolutely everything in terms of printing is exactly the same way. Um, so you see, I can go in, if I go to page setup, you'll see that the standard printing dialog looks the same. It uses both CTB and STB files, just like AutoCAD would do for line weight assignments and standard PC3 files. So all the setup and configuration you already have, they all port right over. Okay. Um, got a question here uh, from Michael. Uh, Michael wants to know, do you have call-in tech support? Uh, my biggest gripe with Auto, AutoCAD is waiting days for email requests because they have no call-in tech support. Uh, and yeah, depending on what your structure is, Michael, usually uh, that's where we come in. Right? We're, we're, we're acting as your reseller. So instead of dealing directly with BricsCAD, your first line of defense is going to be Zentech. You give us a call. We'll help you work through the problem. We'll figure out what's going on. All right? And if we need to, then we get involved in dealing directly with BricsCAD tech support. We try to yeah, it's a very frustrating thing. Like I said, I spent 30 years dealing with that. I do understand your your trouble there. Um, so we try to to kind of run interference between you and those those tech guys on the back end. So we're we'd be your first line of defense. You can call us in. Okay. Um, I had a question from Serafina. Um, yeah, we're getting we're getting close on time, but um, she wants to know, or I assume it's a she. I apologize if it's not. Uh, if I open a DWG in BricsCAD, can it still be opened or worked on in AutoCAD? Uh, yeah, no problem. Um, you may see a, warn, a warning in AutoCAD that'll tell you that the DWG was modified in another uh, uh, application, uh, but it works perfectly fine. Um, so you can actually run both of these side by side. So that's one thing to consider. If you guys are looking at BricsCAD and you're like, yeah, but we've already got five seats of AutoCAD, that's okay. Pick up one seat of BricsCAD to start and see what kind of benefits you get and, and, and how they work back and forth. You can use them side by side and you can easily share back and forth with clients and, and so on who have it. Um, and I got one more question here from Brad. Uh, will BricsCAD recognize objects such as contours coming from Civil 3D? Um, yes and no <laughs> to that question, Brad. Uh, it's a great question. Um, the, the one area that BricsCAD natively is not fully done up in yet is the civil environment, which I'm sorry to say is my own personal background. Uh, there are a couple of add-ons. There are some other third-party vendors who have some add-ons in the civil world for BricsCAD that will handle all that. Um, as far as uh, objects uh, from other packages like, you know, Revit and Autodesk Mechanical, yes, those it will recognize. Uh, but as of right now, um, the, the civil 3D side in terms of contouring, things like that, it, it doesn't. It will allow you to do a mesh export. OK, so if you want to bring in the 3D surface model, it's, it also integrates on the BIM side uh, underneath the Revit. You can actually take. You just to switch back to here to the to the BIM modeling here. Um, you'll see up here that we have the ability to handle spatial locations, 
Okay. And actually extract that. So if you want to bring in into like an architectural plan or a BIM plan, or even your civil 3D plan, extract it out as a mesh that can be brought into a, a BIM environment, you can do that. Okay. But yeah, sorry to say nothing natively in terms of contours and uh, utilities and pipes and things like that. Okay. At least not yet. Uh, but I do know they're working on a lot of, of things. And I think with that, um, I think we're going to kind of wrap it up here. Um, and I want to thank you guys for joining us today. And I hope you guys will take a look at uh, our web our website. Uh, like I said, we're Zentech. We handle a lot more than just BricsCAD. Uh, we deal with all of the vendors and, and, and different software, as you see up here on screen, uh, most of which do integrate with BricsCAD. Um, and if you guys have any questions or thoughts or we can help you with anything, demos or whatever else you have, questions on pricing, et cetera, or training, just please feel free to hit our website or just email us, sales at zentechconsultants.net. Other than that, I really want to thank you guys for taking the time today. Hope you got some good info, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.